Welcome everyone! In this video, we will explore MyPath and help you understand its functionality and features. Let's get started! You can access MyPath from the quick links in the student portal. MyPath allows you to view your current course requirements, grades, transfer credits, academic status, history, and even plan your future course selections. On the MyPath worksheet, you can see your general information and progress within your program. If you scroll down, we can see the program content areas. These include program requirements, mandatory courses, field placements and work terms, application to graduate, and current courses in progress. Let's take a moment to review the legend. This will help us further understand and interpret the symbols displayed on your MyPath worksheet. A green check mark indicates that you have completed the requirement. An empty red circle indicates an outstanding requirement that has yet to be completed. A partially filled blue circle indicates a course in progress. An exclamation mark indicates a nearly complete requirement. If students see this symbol, they are encouraged to speak with their program coordinator. A blue clipboard and check mark indicate a course with a prerequisite requirement. In the first section of the student audit, we can see a summary of your program requirements. Use the drop down arrow to expand this section. MyPath also allows the user to expand or collapse all sections. This section highlights all course types required to successfully complete your program. In this example, the student requires communication courses, general education courses, major requirements, field placements, and in their final semester, the application to graduate. You can also see your program GPA and the minimum GPA required. The next section is your mandatory requirements. Here we can see a list of the mandatory courses required for your program. Outstanding requirements will say still needed under the course column. You can click on the course code for a full description of the course and identify prerequisite courses if required. The remaining sections include Field Placements Application to Graduate and Courses in Progress If you have completed previous schooling inapplicable to your current program, you will have an additional section called Courses Not Applicable to This Program. As previously mentioned, once in your final term of study, you will need to complete your application to graduate. After doing so, your graduation status will appear as pending. The Office of the Registrar will then review your student record to ensure that all program requirements have been met. We will now introduce the Plans tab. The Plans tab shows your expected progression plan for your program. You can identify the courses you are required to take each semester and identify work terms if included in your program. If the current plan does not meet your needs or accurately reflect your program progression, you can meet with your program coordinator to revise or create a new official plan. Let's return to the MyPath worksheet to review final features and tools. The What If tool allows you to select a new major and identify which previously completed courses will apply to the prospective program. You can now select the new desired program and area of study from the drop-down menus. Once completed, click Process. An updated worksheet will populate and show if any completed courses will be applicable to the new program.
If you require assistance beyond this video resource, visit the My Path page on the Georgian College website. For more helpful resources like this one, click on the Academics page in the Student Portal.